So this is the before. And we are going to be replacing, well, we're gonna be covering this wall with beadboard and I will be painting it navy. And this is what it looks like. In and out of love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. Things are going right, you seem to have the time, but when it's hard you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, the words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, the words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. Okay, got everything off of the walls. I even forgot there was dents here, there. So, yeah. Love, we're getting this done. So excited. here because the sheets are not long enough they're not nine foot so we're just going to do a chair wheel across there I'm going to paint it the same color as I paint the wall and it'll look good we did measure the piece of furniture that sits there and it is above it which I wanted which will you'll also see it above the chair that sits in the corner so I think it'll look perfect and then we're going to do around the corners and the top, because we don't have crown mold in here, and we're not gonna do that right now, we're just gonna put some cord around, and I'm gonna paint it the navy, same color as the wall, and I think it's gonna be perfect. As I was nailing it in, James did give me a, a tip on what to do. Because it is going into uh, drywall sheetrock, he had me nail it with the nail, you know, the nail going up, in up, and down, not just straight. Now at the top, he said it was okay to go in straight because it would go in a stud, but in the wall, because we don't know exactly where the studs are, we alternated. We did a whole roll of them up, you know, 
going up and then we come back down and did some going down. So we have nails going in both directions and that should help it not pull away from the wall. So just a little tip there. So when you do your nail gun, you're gonna point it down for the to put them in down and then you're gonna point it up to put them in up. So yeah, this makes everything so much easier. last night and I caulked everything and I filled in all the nail holes and gaps and I didn't record that. I'm not real sure why I didn't record that, but I didn't. Um, but it's all caulked and I'm not a good caulker. I'll tell y'all that. I learned that. But now I'm about to cut in and start painting and get this project done. So let me get all my stuff together and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, this is it. I went with the Navel. It's the Sherwin-Williams brand, but I got it in the Valspar Ultra Eggshell. But there it is, so I'm excited. <laughs> because this is a pain in the butt to paint. I got it cut in the best I could. Um, I don't normally tape, okay? I usually freehand it, but I don't know. I just, for whatever reason, I taped today and I'm so glad I did. Um, I don't have the right paintbrush. I don't know what happened to my good paintbrush. Um, so I'm using one that I don't like and I was not going back to Lowe's. So I'm glad I taped and I've cut in the best I can. I'm hoping that this little roller will get in those grooves and I won't have to cut in each groove. I hope and pray. So I'm about to start rolling so we shall see. As you can see, I started cutting in the grooves down there and I was like, I hope my roller will do it. So let me just see. I think the roller is going to do it. So I'm not going to bore you with watching me paint because you want to see that. But I'm going to get this all painted. And it's definitely going to require a second coat because this, this beadboard is it's like slick. I don't understand why it's so slick, but oh well. I'm just so thankful the little roller is going to get in all the little grooves. So let me just keep painting. <laughs> Y'all, 
y'all, this was so tedious. The roller did work, but it was like, there were, I couldn't figure out an easy way to make it happen. So you just, I just had to take my time and I had to keep going back over it. And this wall literally took me three coats because of those grooves, but it's worth it. You'll see in the end, it's worth it. But I just, I was trying to figure all different ways of getting it in those grooves and I just had to play with it. And it basically, you just do whatever you can do to get it in there. <laughs> y'all first coat done that was a pain in the butt y'all i'm not gonna lie and that's probably the worst first coat i've ever done but it's gonna smooth out with the second coat maybe three three coats but i really like the contrast in here i really do much better coat number two not completely dry just finished it so i am going to turn the ceiling fan on, close up my paint and everything, and then just kind of let it dry. I'm sure there will be some touch-up places that I have to go back to, but I think I'm going to go ahead and take my tape off just so it don't dry. And yeah, Woo. love it though. I really do. Okay. Are y'all ready? The room is done. Now, there are a few things I still need to get, um, but for the most part, it's done. I really love it. James loved it. And now I'm gonna show you what I did. Well, we did, what we did. I could not have done this without James. Okay, let's walk in and ta-da. This is the accent wall. And we, I basically put everything back up where it was. I did put the shelves back up on the wall. There's the eagle that I antiqued in that truck. Uh, most of this stuff was thrifted, quite honestly. The flag was his daddy's. The poster is um, honoring his son, who is a ranger. And his guitars he loves. I have some vintage books and some books that he likes. Uh, the Ranger Way, Day of the Cheetah, Vince Lynn Extreme Measures. This is my first old camera that I love, so I just kind of put it up there to use. Thrifted, thrifted. His mother made him that quilt for his birthday one year, and that is a chair his grandpa made. And it's beautiful and we love it. And then my brother gave me that picture. It's General Lee. And my uncle will give it to him that was like a dad to me. So it's very sentimental. And then over on this wall, this is kind of the desk area. Y'all pardon the cords. I'm going to be handling that and taking care of that. I haven't really done anything over here except paint the top of the table. Paint it the same color as the wall. It's my ring light, my iPad stand, my craft paints, and then we just use the same rug. I bought nothing for this room with the exception of the board, the trim, and the paint. Everything else I already had or I thrifted with this makeover in mind. But this is what it looks like, and y'all, I love it. It is amazing what just, literally this changed the whole room. And all we did was add beadboard. This is the quarter inch beadboard. It's the, um, oh, what's that? I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, it's on the back wall by the moldings and stuff in Lowe's. It's white and I just painted it. We used quarter round for the corners. We got a chair reel because the walls were not, I mean, the sheets were not as long as we needed. So we just put a chair rail there, but this is it and we love it so i'm excited to share with you it has a lot of sentimental pieces in here a lot there's a lot of sentimental pieces there's my little quilted bag that i bought i just put some greenery in it that is a little cross cody made when he was little and the photo is of james's boys when they were little 
But I'm going to be changing something up there. I'm not real happy with that, but it'll do for now. And I'll probably get some greenery for the top shelf. But other than that, I think it's pretty much done. What do you think? I love it, y'all. And as you can probably tell, if you follow me for any amount of time, we love color in this house. <laughs> but I think it's done in a very sophisticated way. And it's not like too crazy and, and boggles the mind too much, if that makes sense. But I absolutely love it. I love the statement piece in this room. It just makes everything stand out so much better. Absolutely love it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to maybe step outside and think outside the box. And until the next one, bye y'all.